Want to have a sword fight? Yeah, sure. Cucumber fight. Oh. Hi. Hi. Want to be an alien? <laughs> Hi, guys. It's grocery day. Have you had too much caffeine today? Not enough. Oh, that's the problem. When you have a lot, it goes make your eyes. <laughs> that's pre workout eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. I want to drink as much caffeine as I can, but I like that. <laughs> okay, uh, grocery day. Now that we've scared away all our viewers, let's <laughs> move on to grocery day. Friends, we have the best my life is now complete treat to show you later. But first, we're gonna do some groceries. And, um, it's gonna be a little bit different groceries because we are doing a different dinner this week and you can check out our next meal prep video so yeah, that you can see it. Should be in the next meal prep video. Yeah, so here we are my friends. Start with this lovely bag of berries. It's the four berry blend and it has raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. Then we have two um, garden salads. We have 12 of the Chunk Light Skipjack tuna uh, in water. And we have an onion, just a white onion, two tomatoes, some mustard. Oh, go back. And egg whites. You know what? I almost pulled the trigger today. What do you guys think Dijon mustard would taste like? We put this in our tuna. But I don't know. I was a little bit scared to get the Dijon. I mean, it has no sugar in it and stuff, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you guys ever put Dijon mustard in your tuna? Yeah, let us know. Like we put, we know. put dill pickles and usually regular mustard and a little bit of light, light mayo. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. It, it could be okay. I like the normal mustard. I'm but curious, but I want to hear what you guys think first. Dijon, yay or nay in the, in the tuna? Yep. Let us know, friends. Uh, the creamy cashew unsweetened vanilla. Cottage cheese, great value, 1%. And they finally brought it back, those sillies. Yay. It was gone for a while. But you don't get the strawberries and the blueberries. You know, that's false advertisement. Yeah, usually it says like on here somewhere like. Probably will somewhere. You Like picture is not what you actually get. Something I'm like sure that. it says that. And I uh, um, got these for, for sword, sword fighting. <laughs> Six cucumbers that we split one each day. And we got some more pickles to put into our tuna. And we got our crispy rice cereal for our post-workout. Lots of 95% fat-free Cool Whip. And you know what they should call these? What? The Not Rice Krispies. Yeah, Not Rice Krispies. Yeah. That would be perfect. Yeah. Silly. Look at this. Jello. Reduced sugar. So that's, we have this and this for a little treat during the week um, when it's not cheat day. And then we got our normal milk that we like to drink on cheat day, and this is the skim milk. And so, friends, you will just have to take a little guess at what we're going to be making. And the meat is ground beef that we have defrosting right now. So think about what you think it might be that we're gonna make. And then look at our meal prep video and see it. Yeah. Yeah, take a little guess a -will. Can we get to the dessert now? Yeah, you can. First, we just got these here. Maynard Sour Patch Kids, but tropical. Whoa, fancy. Yeah, they have like pineapple one, and a fruit punch one, and a Tropical twist. Hmm. I love candy, so I can't wait to try that out. Then we usually get Tim Hortons coffee, but we thought we would try the McDonald's this time. So this is the medium dark roast. McDonald's has mm. really good coffee, like at the actual restaurant, but we've never tried the home brew. Yeah, so the Tim Hortons home brew is good, so yeah. I'm thinking the McDonald's would be good. I'm thinking. Hey, if you guys had this, this McCafe, this one, let us know what you think. Uh, yeah, you got to uh, brew it at home. Cause... Yeah, brew it at home. Yeah. And let us know if you've had the Tim Hortons one, which one of the fancy brews you like better. Yeah. Tim Hortons homebrew or McCafe homebrew. And if you know any, we love our coffee, so if you know any good um, 
like homebrew grind oh, yeah. that we can look for in our grocery stores. Let us know because we might try it out. Yeah. Because we usually have a coffee pretty much every morning. So. Oh, you know the Dunkin' Donuts stuff that grounds that's really good yeah Remember but we that? don't get we, it here we don't get it here but that stuff is really good we so. would love to have some dunkin donuts coffee. maybe they'll bring it here one day they're bringing stuff i doubt today. it we don't have dunkin donuts here well i want donuts from dunkin donuts dunkin donuts get me some donuts yeah okay oh look at this we need some more pop friends so we got this diet dr pepper which is one of the bestest flavors that we ever knew in my whole life yeah diet i think these two diets are probably like our go-to classics like diet pepsi and diet dr pepper yeah sorry friends the box is upside down they they, they can figure it out yeah they're, they're smart but we just had the diet pepsi with lime and that is delicious too it's very good but too. now back to the OG. Now we got the this most special item of the whole haul. This is like when you see it you're like oh my life is complete like that. And kind you know of thing. how we found it actually one of our subscribers one of the comments said you know what my favorite ice cream is the Briar's Reese's Cup ice cream. So I was so. thinking about that I looked at the normal stuff and then my head exploded when I looked to the right and seen this. Look at this. Read it and weep. Rhesus <laughs> chocolate. And it says right there, new. Oh my gosh. Subscribers, you're our best friends because yeah. you helped us find this new flavor. Chocolate ice cream, peanut butter ribbons, and Rhesus cups. Oh, oh my. This is, friends, what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the container and the... <gasps> You're going to bury your head in there. Just yeah. don't get any hair because I still want to have some too. But so we'll have to tie your hair back and then you can dunk your whole head in there. Yeah. Like that. So if you want to see Nicole dunk her head in ice cream, you <laughs> gotta watch the next cheat day. I like that old trick. I used to do that as a kid. Yeah, my uncle used to do that. But you know what? It hasn't been funny for 30 years, so that's why I don't do it anymore. I brought it back because I'm making it funny. Okay. Okay. Friends. Uh oh. If you don't like it, subscribe. She's got a weapon, folks. Look out. I hope you like this video. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Because if you don't, you're going to get the cucumber sword of doom. <laughs> Bye, guys. Show us some more moves with the cucumber sword. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm a, look, I'm a baseball player. <laughs> That's the best baseball swing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>